This con this conference will now be recorded. Okay, so guys, uh, good morning, everyone. So today we are going to discuss about MDS. Okay, our uh, today's concept is MDS. So guys, um, <clears throat> see this Oracle Sova MDS. Okay, fine. Uh, I will talk about the tutorials at the end. Uh, let's begin the session. Okay, so in Oracle Sova, we have a concept called MDS. Okay, metadata storage, otherwise metadata service, anything you can call. Okay, it can be metadata storage or metadata service. Okay, <clears throat> MDS means it's a repository to store the reusable artifacts. I mean, in SOA project, we use different artifacts, right? When I said artifacts, different files, uh, starting from XSD, XSD, Visital, XSL, DVM. There are so many artifacts we use in Oracle SOA project. Sometimes we need to reuse the artifacts across projects. I mean, I don't want to restrict a document i don't want to restrict a document only within the within the project i want to reuse it in multiple projects in that case we can use mds okay it's a it's a shared folder kind of thing it's a shared folder kind of uh, structure okay you can if you keep some document in mds that can be reused in multiple soa projects any questions till now? Okay. Yeah. So if you have no questions, see guys, in MDS, we have two types of MDS. Design time MDS. Design time MDS. And number two, run time MDS. So design time MDS, which is, which is helpful to us, or which is used at the time we are developing the program. Our design time environment is J developer, right? So wherever you install the J developer, wherever the developer is working with a SOA project, developing a SOA project, that machine is a design time machine. In that machine, we set up the MDS infrastructure, MDS environment that is called as design time MDS. When we are talking about runtime MDS, it is server side MDS. Runtime means server. Okay. So runtime MDS means it is it is the server, MDS in server. Of course, we have two types of servers. We know that, right? One is integrated domain, integrated domain, and then uh, standalone domain. Of course, when I'm talking about standalone domain, it, it includes uh, cluster either single node or multi node multi node is a cluster okay in integrated domain in integrated domain uh, it is it is uh, derby database derby database in standalone domain it is oracle database it uses oracle database i mean our mds our mds uh, will be configured in a runtime server runtime mds if it is an integrated domain, our MDS will be configured inside Derby database. If it is a standalone domain, our MDS will be configured inside the Oracle database. If it is file-based MDS, sorry, if it is design time MDS, it's a developer's machine, developer's machine. Okay. So nothing but suppose if you see my machine, the, here, here I have JDeveloper. Wherever I have the JDeveloper, that is the developer's machine. In my developer's machine, I need to configure something called design time MDS. So the name itself is saying design time means while developing the program. And runtime MDS means within the server. When we are talking about server, we have two types of domains, integrated domain and standalone domain. Standalone domain. Okay, the standalone domain, again, uh, single node of domain will be there, cluster domain will be there. Anything is fine. Anything is uh, either single node or cluster node. It is Oracle database. Okay, so guys, design time MDS. Uh, it is a it is file based system. File based system. Okay, 
and of course if you come to runtime mds it is database if you observe here it is database system database system okay so but little small point we need to catch derby database itself is a file based system derby database okay i will show you all this stuff file based system derby database is a file based system internally okay the database managed like a file based system anyway um, <clears throat> I want to show you how to configure this design time MDS and runtime MDS and uh, how to implement this, how to deploy this, all this stuff we will see. Okay, first let's start with design time MDS. So design time MDS, as I told you, it's a file based system and it is configured in the developer machine. So file based system starts with a folder called apps, just one folder, a folder called apps. Apps is the name of the folder. Okay. Guys, you can configure this folder anywhere in your machine. Anywhere in your machine. I mean, you can configure an apps folder on your desktop. You can configure an apps folder on your C drive, D drive, anywhere, anywhere in your machine. Okay, by default, if you go to uh, C drive, J developer, here you can see my work is the default folder. Whenever you create any application, this is the default location to create the application. Along with my work folder, you can see SOA MDS folder. Under this SOA MDS folder, you can see the apps folder. But guys, we, we no need to restrict our apps folder only for this path. Apps folder is just a folder you can create anywhere in your machine. Anywhere in your machine. You got my point, right? Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to implement design time MDS. I want to show you the configuration, how to implement this design type MDS in our application, in our application. So I will configure the apps folder. How I configure the apps folder? What is the limitations to configure it? Uh, what are the advantages we have to configure it? We'll see one by one, okay? Now, what I want to do is, first, I want to implement MDS configuration on card validation system. In card validation system, we have an XSD document and we have a visual document. These two documents, I don't want to keep them in my project. I want to keep them in design time MDS. First, configure the design time MDS. Later, we, we talk about runtime MDS. Okay. Anyway, to start our practice, first we need to have a branch, Git branch, right? We are following the big Git branch. So what I need to do, first I need to configure. I mean, I don't want to do a fresh clone, guys. I just want to perform uh, fetch and check out, fetch and check out. I already have the branch. I already have the branch, okay? Let me. So as I already have the local repository, I don't want to do a fresh clone. I just want to go to my repository where is it uh, i created th this is my repository folder and here let me open the git bash so what we need to do the first command i all i am working on an existing repository make sure you are in you are in main branch git checkout main checkout main if you are already in the branch, if you are already in the same branch, no worries. You no need to run the command. And then I want to run fetch, git fetch, okay? And then we need to perform pull operation, pull, pull command, git pull origin main branch. So now what happened? My local main branch will be synced with central repository. Central, origin means central repository, okay? Now, I need to create a new branch. I will say git branch features slash MDS. Okay, this is my branch. I will enter into my branch, git checkout features slash MDS. Done. See my current branch, current branch changed to MDS branch. This is my new branch. Okay. <clears throat> so here, First step done. I'm able to have my own branch. Okay, I mean, I, 
I am I'm able to refresh my local repository and then I need to create a new feature branch. To create the new feature branch, we know the steps. We know the steps, I just created them. So instead of BS, what I'm saying, this time I'm saying MDS. Instead of billing system, I'm saying it as MDS. Okay, done. So step number 20 done. Now I need to implement, implement design time MDS in developer's machine. Design time MDS in developer's machine. How we can do this, we'll see now. Okay, let's go to your J developer. So what I will do guys, I want to implement design time MDS on my card validation system project. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, I told you, right, MDS always starts with apps folder. And the location of the apps folder can be anywhere in your machine. Okay, there is no restriction. Apps folder need to be on desktop. Apps folder need to be on C drive. Apps folder need to be on D drive. In that way, we have no restriction at all. We have no restriction at all. So, I can create apps folder anywhere in my machine, anywhere in my machine. So what I want to do, I want to show you the best practice, best practice which we used uh, while working in a project, okay? I want to go with the best practice. What is the best way to create the apps folder? It is simply folder, a folder you can create anywhere, okay? So what I want to do is create, create a new SOA project. So a project, okay, uh, name it as, name it as design, design time MDS project. See guys, create one new so a project. You know how to create a so a project, right? Name it as design time MDS project. Just create a project, okay? Let me go to J developer and here I want to create a new so a project. So a tire, so a project, and I want to give a meaningful name. That's it. It's not mandatory to give the project name like this. Design time, MDS project. It is just a display name. Name is always user defined. Okay. Say finish. Okay. Now. Let's go back to the folder structure where I created the MDS project. I created my MDS project under my application. This is my application. Under my application, I created the project, right? So this is the project. It's a simple SOA project, guys. Simple SOA project. There is a, there is not, not much information here. I mean, it's a simple empty SOA project, okay? You can see the project under your application. This is your application. Under that, you can see your project. Open your project. There is a folder called SOA. Open SOA folder. Here, I want to create apps folder. Apps folder. All small letters, guys. Don't use capital letters. I told you in the beginning, you can create apps folder anywhere in the developer machine. The best practice is within your application, create a new SOA project. Under the SOA project, under SOA folder, create apps folder. Create apps folder. Are we good? So this is best way to create MDS, design time MDS apps folder. Okay, I will tell you why this is the best practice. Why can't we create apps folder on desktop? Why can't we create apps folder on D drive or somewhere else? Okay, why this is the best practice? You will understand in a few minutes. Okay, now. Go back to your J developer. Just refresh your J developer. See in the J developer, select the project. You can refresh your design time MDS project. Just refresh. Now you can see the apps folder under your project. Any questions till now? No? Okay. We know, we know this is the apps folder we decided to use as design time MDS. But we also need to inform our J developer. We need to inform our J developer. You consider this apps folder as design time MDS folder. Okay. 
for that what i need to do go to windows and here you can see uh, connections let me go to resources palette if you go to resources palette okay here you can see ide connections under this you can see sova mds and you can see there is a connection called sova underscore design time repository this is the default design time mds connection which is already available in your j developer okay <clears throat> so what you need to do just right click on it and see the properties okay and if you observe here this connection this design time MDS connection is mapped to a folder which is in C drive J developer SOVA MDS. C drive J developer SOVA MDS. Observe this. This is the default connection which is already available in your J developer. But we, but we did not consider this location. I show you in the beginning, right? If you go to C drive, if you go to C drive, if you configure at least one SOVA project, one SOVA application in your uh, machine, by default, this folder structure will be created. C drive, J developer, my work, under my work, you can see your applications. Along with my work, there is a folder called SOVA MDS. This is the default folder created. This is the default folder created along with your J developer installation. Okay. See if you, if I expand this, you can see the apps folder. Of course, under apps folder, there are no files and folders. Under apps folder, you can see there are no files and folders but i don't want to use this location as my design time mds okay i am using a different folder i'm using a different folder and we are we are allowed to use any apps folder i mean apps folder can be anywhere in your machine you don't need to restrict yourself so i need to modify this connection i am telling the j developer i have my own apps folder i have my own apps folder go and use that apps folder so what we need to do go to properties I don't want to use the default apps folder, which is under SOVA MDS folder. I don't want this. I want to use an apps folder, which I configured by my own. Okay, where is it? Go to D drive. This is the folder. This is my Git repository, Git repository, June 2022. Under that, you can see the application. Under that, you can see the project. Under that, you can see SOVA folder and apps folder. So guys, Browse parent folder of apps folder. You need to browse parent folder of apps folder and say, okay. Now what happened? You are telling your, your J developer, use this folder path for design time MDS. Under this folder, you can see the apps folder. Use that folder, that's it. Don't use any other folder, okay? Say, okay, done. Now you can refresh it. Just simply refresh the connection, okay? You just open the connection. If you open the connection like this, you can see there is an apps folder. Of course, under our apps folder, there are no files. There are no files. But I mean, with this connection, what we are telling is we are telling the J developer use this folder as design time MDS. Okay. Sir, any questions? So we did two things. One is we did we configured a SOA project. Under the SOA project, we created the apps folder. Okay. And we created a connection. We created a connection in J developer and we are telling J developer use the specific apps folder as our design time MDS. Any question till this point? I will give a pause. Uh, please unmute yourself and let me know if you have any questions. No, sir. No, no sir. questions. So what we did, um, modify design time design time mds connection in j developer as per new apps folder correct so here create apps folder inside so a project done we we are done with line number 60 we are done with line number 61. Okay, two things we configured. Now, now we need to, I mean, in which project I, I told you to apply the MDS, I asked you to apply the MDS concept on card validation system. 
as of now card validation system contains its xsd and visdl within the project but i don't want to keep them within the project i want to move these two documents into design time mds okay this is the change i'm expecting i don't want to keep card validation system xsd and build a card validation system visdl within the project i want to move them i want to move them into design time mds project okay i want to move them into design time mds okay so before moving the files it's very simple to move them but before moving them i will show you something if you see this guys card validation system project uh, this card validation people right what i want to do i want to check what are all the places this visdl is used in my project okay it's very simple go to search go to search find in files okay uh, here you can see context fine okay so what i want to do cvs people dot visitor cvs people dot visitor okay uh, i want to whole world okay or the match case let's go with match case i want to search this keyword in my project within my project see scope of the search scope of the search is project okay project you can search a keyword within the application as well but i want to search it within the project just search and observe you got a search result these many places this visual is used see the first thing this is a composite file composite file in the composite file there are one line number 15 line number 16 line number 25 three places in composite file at three places we are referring this visitor we are referring the visitor okay and in the people document in the people document we are referring this visitor at two places we are referring this visitor line number 31 line number 70 so if i if i move this visitor from project to mds within card validation system to mds apps folder if i move the visitor these many places will be affected these many places will be affected total five places let me go to the first location first first entry just double click on this automatically your composite file will be opened and the line number 15 you can enable the line numbers toggle line number see in line number 15 it is referring local visitor card validation system people dot visitor you can go to line number 16 okay if you go to line number 16 see this here also we have a reference visitor visitor okay and then uh, you can see line number 25 just double click on it control goes to line number 25 you can see the visitor location Mr. Location. Any questions as of now? So this way you can check all the locations. So this is the people entry. There is a search result. Anyway, in the people line number thirty-one, in the people line number thirty-one, you can see the visitor path, local visitor path. Are we good? You need to observe this before you implement this MDS concept. First, you need to do all these things. You need to verify, search for the visual keyword, and check what are all the locations it is available. Okay, uh, where is my search? Find in files. Okay, so line number thirty-one clear, right? Line number seventy. Just go to line number seventy. Observe this, guys. This is a commented line. It is a commented line, so this, this won't make any impact on your project. It's a, just a comment. It's a comment, and here you can see the visual uh, reference they are using. Okay, it's a comment. It's uh, no need to worry if we move the visual document from current uh, location to MDS location. There is no impact. So now, what I want to show you is, if we move this visual from project to design time MDS, all these entries. all these entries must be modified okay in 11g in 11g version of sova so the older version okay 
in 11G version of SOVA suit, uh, when we are moving a document from project to MDS, all these locations we manually updated with the MDS part. But in 12C, we no need to do any manual job. If you move the document from project to MDS, automatically all these entries will be updated. Okay, for your reference, what I will do, I will take a screenshot of this, how it looks like. I just want to take a screenshot, okay? Done, just keep it as a backup. Now, first close every document in your J developer. It is mandatory, guys, before you start doing MDS implementation, close every file in your J developer, save everything, save everything. This is save all icon. Okay, now what I want to do is under apps folder, you can keep the reusable documents. Before you keep the reusable documents, you can create your own folder structure. You can create your own folder structure. Okay, let me go back to my application file location. This is my application file location, which is under the repository, local repository. Go to your MDS project, go to SOA folder, under apps folder, Guys, I want to create my own folder structure here. My own folder structure. Okay. Under apps folder, create a new folder. I will name it as my application name. Whatever my application name is there, the same name I want to use here. Same name. It is all user defined, guys. It's not mandatory to use the same keyword. Okay. Under the application folder, I want to create my project folder project folder which is nothing but card validation system okay in card validation system i want to create a folder called visitor visitors see the same folder structure i mean in my project in my project i have this visitor i am planning to move this visitor to mds before i move this visitor to mds i'm just creating the folder structure observe the folder structure apps folder under apps folder under apps folder i created a folder with my application name under application name folder i created a folder name called project name under project name i created a folder called visitor okay it is the structure is completely user defined it's not mandatory to follow this folder structure but what i am showing you is the best practice to manage the mds how best we keep the documents in MDS. If you do this, what happened? In future, if I come back to MDS and if I verify a visitor, I will understand, okay, this visitor document is related to card validation system, which is created under this application. Okay, that way I can understand. So for that reason, I'm creating some internal folder structure under apps folder. Simply apps folder is enough to design the MDS, but I'm creating my own folder structure. Any questions till now? Any questions from anyone? No, sir. No, sir. No. Okay, good. So let me move this visitor. Let me move this visitor from SOA project to MDS. It's very simple. Right click on the visitor. But guys, it is very important. Make sure you close all the files. You close all the files. No file, I mean, Beeple, Composite, no file should be open. If you open the files, keep if you keep them open, these entries will be affected. The especially composite file and Beeple file have visual entries, right? So these entries will be affected. So close the files first and then right click on the visitor. Here you have an option share using SOVA design time MDS repository. Share using SOVA design time MDS repository. Simply click on this option. You will get a wizard. Read everything. Read everything, guys, when you are doing practice. Click next. And see, this is the folder. This is the apps folder. See, how, how this wizard know where is my design time MDS? This is because we already set the connection. We already set the connection, right? So that's what the reason. This is the connection we already configured. Okay, we, we edited it with the required apps folder. For that reason, we got this pop-up with the proper apps folder. Instead of giving you the default apps folder, it is showing the apps folder which we created. Okay, any questions? Any questions? No, sir. No, okay. Now, let's uh, see this folder structure. This is the folder structure. 
we created okay just select the folder where you want to keep your wisdom the target folder okay so this is the folder i want to keep my wisdom i just selected it click next see this is the file cvsbeeple.wisdom this is the file i want to place it into this folder which is under apps folder apps folder click next so what it is saying it is showing you the dependent files along with wisdom there is an xsd we imported the xsd in wisdom right so it's a it's a dependency xsd is a dependency in wisdom document you can see the path what it is saying target url target so along with your wisdom your xsd will be moved into this target folder see this see the target folder observe the target folder path okay see in my folder structure in my folder structure i don't have i don't have schemas folder correct in my folder structure i don't have schemas folder i'm trying to import the wisdom document when i'm trying to import the wisdom document it is also creating schemas folder and import moving the xsd document into mds any question any question no awesome. click next and okay when i click next it is showing all the dependent files which which will be affected which will be affected one is composite file another is people file see in these two files we have visual entries all the visual entries will be replaced with this keyword observe the keyword how the mds path was defined mds path is so mds colon apps folder our application name project name visual name and the visual document name so this is how the path the path in these two files visual path will be replaced with this string or imds string okay it is showing you what is what is going to happen if you run the wizard okay any questions as of now just sim if no questions simply click finish but when you are doing it read every instruction on the screen guys what is this the first line following reference referenced files will be updated with the appropriate or imds urls read every instruction and try to understand what they are talking about okay click finish if i click finish immediately this visual along with xsd will go to mds folder mds path okay our design time mds click finish then it is doing some processing okay two documents transferred successfully to your sova design time repository see this is the sova design time repository our connection name is sova design time repository so that means j developer is considering this connection not your project you have a design time mds project right j developer is not considering this project j developer is considering this connection as mds connection this is the reference okay this is the reference any questions any questions okay so project is just for our convenience this project is only for our convenience guys this is not for j developer purpose this is for our convenience i will tell you what is that what advantage we have if we create the apps folder under under sova project we can create the apps folder on desktop as well or some other folder as well but instead of going with some other location i created the apps folder within the sova project and i named the sova project as design time mds project my but my j developer is not considering this design time mds project my j developer is considering the connection within the connection whatever path you configured that will be considered as design time mds are we good okay let me click on the finish okay button if i click okay button if i click okay button so save everything save everything okay there are few things you need to verify now just go back to your file system and check go back to your file system under apps folder under apps folder go to card validation system you can see the wisdom folder you can see the wisdom document along with wisdom folder a new folder created schemas you can see the xsd document okay so this is one thing you need to validate second thing go back to your j developer okay refresh the design time repository connection okay just refresh and then expand and see the documents here this is your design time mds folder you can see the xsd document and the visual document okay 
This is second verification you need to do. And the third verification, go to your design time MDS project, just refresh the project, refresh the project, okay? Open your project, open apps folder, you can see the documents, XSD and visitor, XSD and visitor, okay? Three things we validated. Now the fourth thing we need to validate. See this search command, search command, just refresh it. The search result, if it is already available in your J developer, just refresh it. Suppose if for some reason, if you close this uh, log palette, search result palette, you can reopen it. You know, right, the navigation. Find in files, you can search for the keyword, match case, simply click on search. Okay, if you search it, okay, if you search it, see the path got replaced this is the old uh, search result this is the old search result okay okay if you see you can compare both old search result visitor location how it is local copy of the visitor it is referring local location okay but if you see here it is referring it is referring mds path mds path observe all all visitor references modified mds path okay of course you can open each entry and uh, you can verify you can verify each entry you don't need to restrict yourself uh, for the search result just double click on the first one if you see here earlier it is visible earlier it is a local visible path but now it is mds visible path observe how the mds path is defined or mds is a standard keyword colon slash and from here it is the folder structure folder structure are we good sir then so now this is how the local visible path replaced with the mds path okay now if you observe this we have MDS connection where you can see where you can see the entire folder structure and files and here we have Here we have design time MDS project here also we can see the entire structure and files But there is a difference for these two things. So this is MDS connection This you you will get to view access. You cannot get to write read write uh, sorry write access You don't get write access. You can you can get only read access. I mean if I open this XSD if I go to source view, I want to edit something, it will not allow me to edit. If I open the document by using MDS connection, it will, it will give you only read access. It will not allow you to do some modifications. But if I open the document, which is in design time MDS, it, it has read and write access as a regular project. You got it? So guys, this is one advantage why I created apps folder under the SOA project because I can create an apps folder on my desktop as well. I can create the apps folder on my desktop. Suppose let's assume I want to do some modification in my XSD. If you have an XSD on your desktop, some XSD, okay, let me keep. Uh, Let's assume the same apps folder, I have it on my desktop, okay? So now what happened here, I can open an XSD. Here I can open an XSD for sure by using some notepad plus plus or something, but it is completely out of J developer. I will open the XSD in a notepad file. It is completely out of J developer, okay? And suppose if I do some modification, yes, it will allow me to do the modification. But advantage here is, Let's assume I did a modification and I did some mistake. Okay, I did some mistake. What happened? Immediately your J developer will show you there is a mistake in your XSD. There is a mistake in your XSD. It will, it, it will, it will alert me. Okay. Suppose if I start doing the same thing in a simple notepad file, it will not give any alert to me. There is a chance of doing mistakes. You can edit. definitely you can modify the XSD in a notepad file, no doubt in that. But when you are doing manual changes, when you are not depending on the tool and you are doing it, it's, it's really good if you don't do any mistakes, but there is a chance of doing mistakes, right? That's what the reason I don't suggest, 
I don't suggest to keep the MDS folder, okay, on desktop or some other folder. I don't, I'm not really interested to keep the MDS folder, I mean apps folder, somewhere in your machine. That's not suggestible. Let's put the apps folder in your SOA project, a separate SOA project as we did, okay, and you can keep the apps folder under a SOA project. Then what happened? You will get the you will get the visibility for the entire structure and you also get the right access right access you can edit the document if really required okay by using mds connection also you can see the structure and documents but you don't have the right access you can do only read access so guys you understand the advantage why why am um, why i place this apps folder under a soa project Instead of placing the apps folder somewhere in your machine, either C drive, D drive, desktop, or somewhere in your machine, the best approach is create the SOA project and keep the apps folder. Now, now, guys, you need to, you did the validations, right? There are multiple validations you performed. Uh, what is this? Oh, I closed. Okay, let me see. If you do any mistake, it will give you an alert. Immediately, JDeveloper will give you an alert. Okay. Done. So now there are a couple of things you validated. One is you went to the folder structure. You went to the folder structure and uh, verified all the documents are available in this folder structure or not. And you went to so a project, refreshed it. You went to design type MDS connection, refreshed it. And you searched it. I mean, the search result you validated, search result. And then, and then you need to once compile the code or just check the code, whether the code is good or not. Okay, is everything is everything loading properly or not? Just open an assign activity, open a variable, open a variable, check everything is loading or not. Suppose your MDS not properly loaded in the SOA project, then what happened? These mappings will not be loaded. When you are doing practice, you will understand it. Okay. For now, just validate all the points, whatever I said. Whatever the things I ask you to validate, just validate everything. Okay. Now. Now, so now card validation system is not an individual project. It has a dependency on design time MDS, correct? So if the design time MDS, let's see, I will change the design time MDS just for your understanding. Uh, instead of using our MDS path, instead of using our MDS path, I will go to C drive. C drive also contains the apps folder. C drive also contains the apps folder, right? Uh, so MDS, suppose if I keep this as my MDS, just refresh. Okay, see, this folder has no files, then what happened? If you open your card validation system, card validation system, just refresh the project. Okay, and open the card validation system. Okay. Let me open people. I'm expecting an error because I changed the connection. Oh, white is not showing any error. It must show the error. Mm. Let me close and restart my JDeveloper. Okay. We'll see how it behaves. Uh, maybe it looks like JDeveloper has a cache which is referring the MDS. But if I restart the JDeveloper, because I want to show you my JDeveloper is using the MDS connection. Okay. It is to get the documents from MDS, whatever MDS connection path you configured, that will be considered. Other things will not be considered. Okay. Even though you know you have apps folder at three locations in your machine, but only one app will be considered by your developer, that is, which is configured in the MDS connection. Let's see. Uh, I'm just re reloading my developer. I'm expecting an error in card validation system because I modified the connection. Instead of actual apps folder, I modified my connection. I, I routed my connection to some dummy apps folder where I don't have any documents. Let it restore. Okay. So anyway, so let it restore and come back to the steps. So what we did, uh, we modified design time MDS connection in JDeveloper as per the new apps folder. After this, what we did, uh, move visual document from card validation system project to 
design time MDS connection. Okay, so we, we, we did this step, right? <clears throat> so what happened? We need to observe along with wisdom XSC document also move to MDS or apps folder. Apps folder. Then we observed this. After this, you need to validate. Need to validate. Need to validate MDS connection. MDS project. Visual references in card validation system project. So all these things you need to validate. I mean, is everything good or not? You just need to validate, okay? Go to your J developer, open card validation system. Open card validation system, okay? Uh, what else? Okay, after this, after this, we need to do something called deployment. Deployment. So guys, this deployment is a little different. Earlier, when we configure, when we develop the card validation system, after development, we just simply right click on the project and deploy the project, correct? But now, if you want to deploy the, if you want to deploy card validation system, it's not simple card validation deployment. There are two things you need to do. Deploy, design, design time MDS into server and then deploy card validation system project. Two things you need to deploy. You need to deploy design time MDS project into server and then card validation system. Otherwise your card validation system will not work if you don't deploy MDS. So because card validation system has a dependency on XSD and Visital, and XSD and Visital are in design time MDS, not within the project. We don't have XSD and Visital within the project. We have XSD and Visital, okay, outside of the project. We have XSD and Visital outside of the project and they are in the design time MDS. So you need to deploy the design time MDS into server and then you need to deploy the card validation system into server, okay? See this, I just restarted my JDO lever and it is refreshed. It is saying, observe because I changed the MDS connection, right? MDS connection, I provided a wrong connection. So it is, your developer is trying to get the visitor from the wrong connection. In the wrong connection, the visitor is not available. So it is throwing an error. It is throwing an error. Okay, just say okay. Say okay and observe. This service component not loaded properly and people is showing an error. Okay, all this is because we are not able to load the visitor properly. Okay, I connected a wrong MDS connection. And then you can see here, your variables, you cannot load the variables if your MDS connection not loaded properly. Okay, all these issues will be, will be uh, triggered if you see the MDS connection is not good. So what I can do is let me fix this MDS connection. Fix this MDS connection to a proper folder. Uh, I will go to my proper structure, D drive. Git repository, application name, design time MDS project, SOA folder. Select the SOA folder, don't select the apps folder. You need to select parent folder of apps folder for connection configuration. Test connection, test connection. If you get success, say okay. Once close your file, close your file and refresh your project. Okay, and try to open the project again. Again, I need to restart JDB. Mm, again, I need to restart the JDeveloper. Mm, let's close the JDeveloper. Again, restart. So once after you restart the JDeveloper, what we need to do, we need to perform deployment. To perform the deployment, two steps we need to do. One is design, we need to deploy the design time MDS into server. That means we are moving our design time MDS folders and files into run MDS. So this, the meaning of this step is we want to 
we want to keep our design time MDS, whatever folders, whatever files we have in our design time MDS. So all the folders and files, I want to keep them into runtime MDS. Okay, we are moving. Sorry. So the indirect, indirectly we are telling deploy MDS into deploy MDS into runtime MDS. Deploy design time MDS into runtime MDS. Okay, this is what the intention here. And then card validation system is a normal deployment. Normal deployment to deploy the SOA project. Guys, if you skip this step, if you skip this step, you are not able to deploy the card validation system. Card validation system, it, it cannot work in the server. Okay. Anyway, now to do this, to do this, we have two methods two methods how to deploy MDS okay method one and method two so there are two different methods method one we need to configure project level deployment profile met okay and step two application level deployment profile okay and then deploy MDS. So this is method one. And method two, method two, configure runtime MDS connection in J developer. Deploy, or I will say there is an option called transfer. Transfer. That's it. So there are two approaches guys there are two methods method one and method two method one we need to perform three steps method two we need to perform two steps okay but this method one is the approach mostly used in office uh, very rarely we use method two approach okay i will show you both the approaches but you, you must know both the approaches uh, but try to understand the difference between both the approaches okay right uh, is it fixed? Let me open my card validation system project. This time it should load everything. Anyway, so any questions in the process? Any questions in the process? How to deploy MDS into server? Design time MDS and runtime MDS. How to deploy MDS from design time MDS to runtime MDS? Okay, right. So here I told you in the beginning of the session, our runtime MDS is in two different ways integrated domain and standalone domain as of now i'm talking about integrated domain which runs on derby database which runs on derby database which is a file based system okay so guys what happened if i deploy my mds if i deploy my design time mds into server because i am using integrated domain because i am using integrated domain and it is a file based system after MDS deployment into server, you can see runtime MDS in this location. You can see runtime MDS in this location. Okay, let me open this folder path. So let me go to C drive, C drive, users, C drive, users. Uh, my user is Dell. Okay, under this app data, guys, app data is a hidden folder. App data is a hidden folder. Just uh, search, type it. App data. Enter. Click enter button in your keyboard, and then you can go to roaming. Under roaming, J developer. Under this, this, this version number also may change in your machine, guys. It's a timestamp. It's a timestamp. The last keyword is a timestamp. Just go to this, and this is the 12214 is the SOA quick start which you installed. Go to this and here you can see default domain under default domain you can see store store gmds mds sova sova infra so here you can see your mds i mean apps folder as of now i i, I did not deploy my code right as of now i did not deploy my design time mds so there is no apps folder there is no apps folder. So once you complete the deployment, you can see the apps folder here. It is your runtime MDS. I'm using integrated domain. 
I'm using integrated domain. It's a it's run on a Derby database, which is a file-based system. So this is the location. This is the location after you deploy the MDS from your J developer design time MDS to server runtime MDS. You can see your MDS in this location. This is the path. Are we good? Okay, I will show you. I will show you how to configure the method one. Step one, step two, step three. Okay, let's talk about method one. It's very simple. What is the first step? Project level deployment profile I want to configure. Go to your J developer. Go to your design time MDS project. Design time MDS project. Right click on it. I want to configure project level deployment profile. Project level deployment profile. Go to see guys. This is this is a deployment profile, but this is a SOA deployment profile. Now we don't want SOA deployment profile. We want the MDS deployment profile. Okay. For that reason, I don't want to use the default deployment profile. I want to go to new deployment profile. New deployment profile. Okay. Just click on new deployment profile. And here you can see profile type. So I want to deploy a jar file. I want to deploy a jar file. Just select jar file. Okay. You can give some name. I will name it as design time MDS project level deployment profile. Guys, this is just a user defined keyword. It's not a fixed keyword. Just for our understanding, I'm giving this naming convention. Okay. Design time MDS project level deployment profile. Say okay. Here it will here you need to select what are the files we need to include in the jar. Okay. Uh, what we will do, go to filters, contributor. Okay. Go to contributors. So I mean in this deployment profile, what files you want to contribute? Just go to contributors, remove all these checkboxes, remove all the checkboxes, click on add button and browse your apps folder. Browse, browse, where is our apps folder? It's in D drive, it's in reader. Go to uh, git repository, git repository and here you can see the MDS project and you can see the apps folder. This is the apps folder. So guys, select apps folder. Click on apps folder. Okay. Last time when we are creating the MDS connection, design time MDS connection, we connection, we selected the parent folder. But when you want to deploy the MDS, you need to select the apps folder. Say select. Okay. Once you click OK, this path will be included. Path included. Okay. Now go to filter section. Filter section. Here you can see what files you want to include in the deployment what are the files you don't want to include in the deployment as of now we have only two files xsd and wisdom okay but let's assume there are cases we have 100 files in our design time mds but i don't want to deploy all 100 files at that time you have an option you can choose the file whichever you want to you want to deploy for now we don't have an option we have to deploy XL, xsd as well as wisdom but let's assume you have 100 files in your MDS, you want to deploy only 50 files. You need to come to this filters option and select whichever, whichever file you want to deploy, whichever file you don't want to deploy. Okay, say okay, done. We are ready with project level deployment profile. Save everything, save all. Okay, now if you observe the project, you can see two deployment profiles space. You can see two deployment profiles. One is default deployment profile. This is a SOA deployment profile. This is MDS deployment profile. Suppose you don't want this SOA deployment profile, you can delete it. To avoid the confusion, you can delete this. What you can do, go to project properties, uh, deployment, you can go to deployment. See this SOA SAR file. This is a SOA SAR file. I don't want it. It's a SOA deployment profile. You can delete that. But this is the one we created. We created, I want it, just keep it. Just say, okay. Now what happened? You can you can see only one deployment profile. Okay, done. So we are in method one. In method one, we completed step one. Project level deployment profile configuration completed. Now I want to configure application level deployment profile. This is also almost a similar process. See, this is your application. Right click on it, and then and then go to application properties. 
and here you can see deployment deployment here you configure a new deployment profile this is application level deployment profile so you need to select you need to select soa bundle profile type is soa bundle give the name i will say application level uh no mds right design time mds application level deployment profile i'm just giving a meaningful naming convention not more not much more than that done once you click it here you can see the dependencies okay all the soa projects it will show you i want to go to design time mds project and select the jar file which we created this is the jar file which we created okay only select this one that's it now our application level deployment profile is ready second step also completed second step also completed application level deployment profile is ready now i want to deploy my mds okay if you are planning to deploy your mds it's very simple uh, not like soa project deployment guys generally if you want to deploy the soa project right click on it and go to deploy and select the deployment profile correct so but for uh, mds we don't we don't right click on the project it's not the project level we need to go to application right click on the application have a note this is little different you need to right click on the application guys everybody following right right click on the application and if you go to deploy you can see the deployment profile which we configured just now design time mds application level deployment profile just select it and then deploy to application server click next and next and you can see here integrated local host connection my application server connection click next you can select the folder as well you can select a folder in the next screen if we have partitions right okay and then next and before click finish button let me open the folder see this is the soa infra right runtime mds location this is runtime mds location okay uh, after deployment you can observe apps folder will appear here okay done just say finish finish where is the log window go to log window so it is trying to deploy let's see what will happen okay done your deployment finished and observe observe the folder what happened this is your default domain this is your default domain right default domain integrated domain in integrated domain in this path you can see your apps folder so that means from design time mds we deployed the mds into server that came to runtime mds that came to runtime mds in our case our runtime server is a integrated server and in within the integrated server we can see the runtime mds this is runtime mds okay anyway so mds deployed mds deployed after mds what we need to deploy we need to deploy card validation system just it is a normal deployment just go to card validation system right click and deploy the card validation system project this is a normal deployment process okay it's a normal deployment process so hope you understand this point this point is clear for everybody if i'm not wrong because it is a file based system i opened the integrated server domain and i am showing you the runtime mds suppose if it is a stand alone domain if it is a stand alone domain your runtime mds is an oracle database you cannot open a folder and see that you cannot open like a folder and file any questions at this point we'll talk about stand alone domain separately okay i'm talking about integrated domain as of now but it will not i mean the process will not change the concept of design time mds the concept of uh, runtime mds uh, how we configure the project level deployment profile how we configure the application level deployment profile this concept won't change okay concept configuration everything will remain same only the thing is you cannot view you cannot view 
standalone domain MDS like this, like this integrated domain. Integrated domain, I opened the folder. In integrated domain, I opened the folder. I'm able to open the folder and I'm showing you the apps folder. This way, you cannot see runtime MDS in standalone domain. Okay, done. So our deployment completed. Of course, you can go to SOAP UI. I already have a card validation system project. I no need to recreate this SOAP client because the same service I deployed into same project. Sorry, same server. Same card validation system I deployed into same server. So I no need to recreate this project. I can test this project. If I test this project, I, I must see the response. I must see the response. It's a synchronous web service. And the card number 654, 654, so the expected response is invalid. Let's say if I give 6541 and submit the request, you can see the response, it is valid. Okay, so my program is working. My program is working as expected after implementing MDS. So once the testing completed, what we need to do, we come back to Git. We need to go with our regular process, Git ZUI, identify all the required files and commit them. Okay. And if you are not able to identify what is required, what is not required, just select every file, guys. Okay. Anyway, so in the card validation system, what file required, I will let me select the files, whichever I think I need it. Mm, graphic not required, JPG not required, not required, not required, not required. CVS people required. There is a modification in this file. There is a modification in this file. What is the modification, sir? See this red color is the old entry. Green color is the new entry. Okay, earlier the visual path is local visual path. Now the visual path replaced as MDS path. So I need to commit this beeper. Okay, and then and then uh, come to XSD document. What changes I made in XSD document? See this beeper. Did I need it? Okay, uh, <clears throat> got it. So here observe. This file, XSD file, I removed while we are moving the XSD file from project to the MDS. We moved out, right? So XSD file no more available in card validation system. XSD file no more available in card validation system. So it's a delete, delete operation. See the question mark here? It is deleted. It is deleted. Just select it. Yes, that is correct. I want to commit this delete. Okay, and then Visdal also removed. Visdal also removed from card validation system. I want it. I want this deletion. Select the file. Okay, and then card validation system composite. Card validation system composite file. There are several changes we did. See this. This is the old entry. Visdal location is a local path. Visdal location is a local path. And here you can see the MDS path. This local path replaced with MDS path. Okay. You can, you can see the, all the modifications in this file. This is old entry, this is new entry. Okay, right. So I want this composite file as well. Okay, and then we need JWS because we created a new file called uh, uh, Design Time MDS. Design Time MDS, there is a new file we introduced in our application. So JWS modified. And then uh, what is this? Jar file, jar files, we no need to commit. Graphic file, no need to commit. Zip file, no need to commit. Jar file, no need to commit. And see, see here, design time MDS project related files. Did I miss anything? Yeah. JPR required. Diagram not required. Diagram not required. Log not required. Out not required. Uh, what is this? This is MDS path, design time MDS folder, apps folder. We need it. We need apps folder. See, this is the this is the visible document in apps folder in design time MDS. We need it. Continue. Okay. Don't miss any required file, guys. If you miss any required file, that will be a big headache for you. Don't miss any required file. These all these things are practice for you. Okay. Once again, cross check. We don't want dot data. We don't want dot data files. Come to building system. We don't want graphic file, diagram file, not required, diagram not required, call SCINF not required, people, people designer graphic file not required. This is also graphic design diagram file not required, SCINF not required. 
test suit, uh, of course, not required, even though if you add it, not an issue. Okay, and anything, double check every, double check before you do the commit and push. Card validation system, anything I left here, jar, always regeneratable, no need to commit. Design time MDSC, especially design time MDSC is the new project we created in this branch. So especially for design time MDS, don't leave anything. Uh, see composite, I left the composite file, very important for design time MDS project. Select it, deploy not required, this is not required, this is not required, this is not required, okay? Always double check two or three times, double check if you are leaving any file. Are you leaving any file, just double check them. Okay, and once you are ready with all the required files, you need to commit it. MDS implementation on card validation system project. Then commit it and push it. Push it into MDS folder. Then once you push the code, what we need to do? We need to merge. We need to merge. Uh, we need to merge this branch into main branch. Okay, how we? How, what is the process we follow? First, we need to check out. First, we need to check out git. Check out main branch. Okay, now I'm in main branch. Git pull origin feature slash MDS branch. Done. Once you do this, your main branch will be updated. Your main branch will be updated. So now what we need to do, we need to push the main branch. We need to push the main branch. Push, simply push, that's it. Done. So once you perform this main branch, now what happened? We implemented MDS on card validation system project and we are able to commit the code, push the code and merge the code into main branch. Of course, if you go to uh, GitHub central repository and then open your main branch and you can see the MDS implementation. So that's the production copy we are maintaining, right? Each, each enhancement we are maintaining in one feature branch and we are finally merging the code into main branch because main branch we are going to deploy into production. Okay, any questions till now? This is about how, what is design time MDS, runtime MDS, how to implement design time MDS and how to deploy design time MDS into server. Any questions as of now? So this is, this is the part we discussed. So we'll, we'll see method two guys. I will talk about method two separately. Okay, but other than method two, we covered all these steps. Okay. okay. Any question from anyone? Let me stop the recording.